Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. My name is Raza Elias and I'm a self-taught Arabic calligrapher. Uh, as part of Medina Mosque Cardiff community, I will be giving short tutorials on how to write in the Arabic language. Uh, now just for a short introduction, uh, Arabic was chosen by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and the Holy Quran is written entirely in Arabic. Therefore, every Muslim should learn to read, write and also try to speak in the Arabic of our Holy Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in order to be able to understand and interpret the word of Allah through Salah and reading the Holy Quran. Now inshallah I will be doing a short series uh, once a week over the next few weeks and I will be teaching you how to write uh, each letter uh, in the Arabic language. So the best type of pen to be using to start off with would be a, a marker pen. Um, this is a marker pen uh, which has a chisel tip, a straight edge uh, tip. Uh, this would be perfect for calligraphy. For those who are writing Arabic for the very first time, uh, it would be best for you to uh, write in pencil first, just so you can get used to writing the shapes of each letter. As for when I first started writing in Arabic calligraphy, I started using a marker pen like the one I showed you and then I worked my way up uh, using a calligraphy uh, pen um, this is where you dip in uh, when you dip in ink this is the calligraphy ink uh, Winsor Newton calligraphy ink um, this took a while for me to get up to uh, it takes a lot of practice and inshallah you'll be able to do the same as for the paper it would be best for you to use lined paper uh, I drew my lines out, uh, as you can see they're quite big, the, the lines are spaced out uh, every 4 centimeters. Uh, if you're using ordinary line paper like this, then it would be best for you to, every 3 lines, uh, draw out another line so you can write out the letters nice and big. Now we're going to be starting off with the letter Alif, um, Alif is the first letter of the Arabic alphabet. Now before I write, um, the main thing that you need to keep in mind is that if you're using a marker pen or a calligraphy pen, the main the main thing that you need to know is that on the straight edge needs to be firmly down on the paper at all times. So it cannot be slanting upwards like that, it needs to be straight onto the paper at all times. Now, to write a lift, you're going to want to start near the top of, of the line, like so. And then you want to go diagonally down, slightly like that. And then you're going to reposition your pen where you first started. And then from there, you're going to go down with a slight flick going to your left. I'll do that one more time. So you're going to start at the top, going down slightly, diagonally, up, reposition your pen where you first started, and then down with a straight line, the flick going towards the left. Now the next three letters of the Arabic alphabet is Ba, Ta and Tha. Now these three letters are of a similar shape and size. Um, it just has a different number of dots. Uh, these dots are called Nuktas. Uh, I will explain to you how many Nuktas go on uh, each letter. But firstly, Ba is written like this. Now I put a, a line there, this is where the starting point of where bar should start. Okay, um, so you're going to position your pen halfway between the line and you want to go down with a slight curve, start then finishing touching the line there. Now from this point you're going to reposition your pen where you left off and then go straight Onto the on the line as possible, 
straight as possible and then go up and then finish around the same area where you first started off and then a bar has one nukta now this nukta places directly beneath the line right here and to make a nukta you're gonna want a, a diamond shape going down like this and there is how you do your nukta now for I'll show you one more time so you're gonna start halfway between each line go down and then finish on the line then from this point you're gonna reposition your pen where you left off go straight on the line as you possibly can and then slowly go back up to the same point where you first started and there you will do another nukta directly beneath the bar and the nukta is done by is a slight diagonal line a slight stroke with the pen and there is the letter bar now as for the next letter uh, da da is written exactly like ba but it just has a different number of nuktas so da you're gonna start same area as, as the letter ba um, so you're gonna want to start halfway between two lines and then you wanna it's the exact same shape as the letter ba so you're gonna go down slightly finish on the line by there now readjust your pen and then straight on the line and then back up again and then this time da has two noktas now these are not placed at the bottom but they're placed on the top uh, in the middle so i'm going to start off on the left hand side and nokta is placed just need to put some more ink in. So, um, a nukta is placed by right here, and the second nukta is close to the first nukta, which is that goes by there. There's your letter ta. So, I'll do this one more time for you. So, Starting from the same area, going down, and then straight on the line, and then back up again, like so, and then two noktas on top. And it's very important that you keep the straight edge of your pen firmly on the paper now as you can see there's two noktas here one's uh, attached and one uh, is detached is not touching either way is fine so you can have it attached or detached which is not joining now for the next letter tha no sorry tha a tha is written exactly the same So you're going to start halfway through the line, going down straight on the line and then back up again. But only this time, it has three noktas. Now, two noktas are placed exactly the same as da, but the third nukta is placed in the center of the two noktas but on top by here there's your letter tha so I'll do this one more time so starting off the exact same spot halfway between the two lines curved slightly down touching the line there you stop, 
reposition your pen going straight down the line and then back up again and then the slight flick you stop where you first started so it's in the same line where you first started and then the three noktas two of them exactly like the letter da and then the third nukta in the middle but on top and there's your letter tha this is how alif ba ta and tha are written this is the end of the first tutorial i hope you all enjoyed and found this beneficial inshallah next week saturday 4th of july the next tutorial will be out around about 8 pm and we will continue on of the next few letters of the alphabet alphabet jazakallah khair